watching News 3 Now at 10. A single mother and her five kids are looking for a new home tonight after an unattended cooking fire destroyed theirs in Sun Prairie. In the meantime, the community is making sure the family has everything it needs. Boys and Girls Club of Dane County CEO Michael Johnson coordinated efforts to get the family housed, fed, and get new clothes to wear for the next couple of weeks. Co-owner and president of Metcalf's Market, Tim Metcalf, let the family fill up shopping carts of food for free this morning. Holiday season is all about, it's about, you know, coming together as a family, coming together as a community, and then taking care of those people in our community that need our help the most. Any money raised for the family will go towards gas cards, food, cell phone bills, and hotel costs. Donations can be made on the Boys and Girls Clubs of Dane County website or a GoFundMe page set up for them. Both of those links are on our website, channel3000.com. It's the holiday season, which means a lot of families are pulling out their favorite board games. But one UW-Madison student realized that board games can be a lot more than just for fun. Abby Schinderly spoke to him about how he's using them to support refugees. For Joel Baraka, education... I wouldn't be dreaming the way I'm dreaming today if it wasn't for education. ...is everything, which is why the UW-Madison senior asked himself... How do I um, build something in education that would help other children? That question led him to create a board game for elementary students. So this is the game. ...aimed at facilitating peer-to-peer -peer learning. Baraka says he was inspired to create the game by his own experience growing up in a refugee camp in Uganda. I'm one of the few children who have been able to leave the refugee camp and get an education somewhere else. Where he noticed that teacher shortages left many students struggling to stay focused. We're trying to also make sure that the game is combining learning uh, the relevant information that they need to learn in school and also bringing that com component of fun, engaging and uh, engaging for them as they use the game. After making his way to UW-Madison. I fell in love with Wisconsin, um, uh, and particularly UW-Madison. And adjusting to his new location. South Africa gets colder than Uganda, but nothing close to Wisconsin. Baraka partnered with fellow UW-Madison student Anson Lau to make the game even better. I got like, inspired and um, I thought it was such a wonderful thing. The duo has since partnered with several elementary schools in Uganda to help bring their game to more than 500 students. Baraka says he hopes to expand in the future and continue to help educate kids from his community. Refugee children can do more, can be more, and deserve more. Um, all they need are resources. If they don't get resources, we are losing opportunities for children here. In Madison, Abby Shenderly, News 3 Now. The games are produced entirely in Uganda in an effort to support local businesses there. Anyone looking to help their cause can visit myhomestarsmhs.com. Right now, the first nor'easter of the winter season has arrived on the northeast coast of the U.S. This video comes from just outside of Boston. There have been high wind warnings throughout the coastal regions of Massachusetts today. Local authorities are urging people not to travel at least through tomorrow afternoon. We'll have a chance for some snow tonight, but nothing like that. Just some light flurries <laughs> around here, right, Dana? Yes, very, very different from that. We aren't expecting anything quite as measurable or as heavy or as... Uh, uh, congesting with the traffic, it's going to be a bit of a mess, of course, as we look towards the New England area. For us, just a small chance for some flurries overnight and for tomorrow afternoon. For tomorrow, off and on cloud coverage, we will see the sun at some times, but we are expecting a variably cloudy sky. After that, into next week, we fall into a dry and sunny stretch, and overall, that sunshine should carry us through much of the work week. Temperatures overnight only dropping to the upper 20s, as we do have a mostly cloudy sky overhead, so we don't cool down quite as much when we are mostly cloudy. Tomorrow, variably cloudy skies with that small chance for flurries mainly late in the day. We are expecting by Monday to get a little more clearing. Temperatures will be in the mid to upper 20s for overnight lows. And by Monday afternoon, high temperatures in the upper 30s with mostly sunny skies. Generally, as we look at that 6 to 10 day outlook, likely that our temperature trend will be above average for the middle of the month. And that's really what we're lining up with uh, as we look over the next several days, expecting our temperatures to warm up a little more. Not quite as dry either. That's the good news for us right now. Trending a little bit below average over the next several days, but that system towards the end of next week or this upcoming week is going to give us a little bit of rain, maybe a little bit of light snow also to kind of boost us back up right now. The drier air trending towards the southwest in that 8 to 14 day outlook. Variably cloudy tomorrow with a slight chance for flurries late in the day. 37 the high areas south of Madison along the Illinois Wisconsin state line might see 40 degrees and this time of year our temperatures are usually closer to about 34, 35.
45 for afternoon highs. So seeing this stretch of the 40s for the middle of the week is quite mild outside. We're going to be sunny for the middle of the week. Temperatures near 50 degrees by Wednesday, and then we'll start to back off just a little bit. A light chance late in the day on Friday to maybe see some flurries swirling around. A better chance for some light snow at night, and then a slight chance expected on Saturday. That system we were watching kind of condensing a little bit. Still something that was several days off, Amanda, that we'll continue to keep an eye on. Uh, but otherwise, a very dry stretch continuing on for us. Yeah, not really many chances recently for any snow, really, or even rain. It's no, kind of no, quiet. Not much coming through, and these temperatures seeing highs in the upper yeah. 40s, that's very mild for mid-December. Yes, it is. All right, thank you so much, Dana. A reminder, tomorrow's Packers game will air right here on CBS. The FCC is allowing us to boost the power of our broadcast signal to full strength. If you know anyone watching us with an antenna, they may need to activate the scan function on their TV menu to rescan available channels so they can continue to enjoy News 3 Now and CBS programming. And still to come on News 3 Now, the Badger women's basketball team opened up Big Ten play on the road. Could Wisconsin snap their 20-game losing streak to Iowa? Saxon next with sports. News 3 Now First Worn Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. When I grow up, I want to be an expert in something. I want to know what it would be like to make a difference. I want to be a part of something bigger to help people, to change lives. When I grow up, I want to show the world that anything is possible. But now I know that making a difference doesn't take much. It just takes me. Join our team. Unity Point Health Meritor, a partner of UW Health. Know how much you matter to this world. This Christmas, Fleet Farm has every gift for every list. Gifts are big at Fleet Farm. You'll find the biggest selection and the biggest savings. Know someone who's big into toys? Get up to 50% off our low fleet price on all toys. Or for someone who's big into tools, a 192-piece DeWalt Mechanics tool set is just $119.99. Fleet Farm has gifts for everyone on your list. Christmas shopping just got easier. Fleet Farm. Gifts are big here. Wisconsin is a home of workers. We know it needs to get done, and we do it. Yet, we've been hit hard, some harder than others. Our contact may be limited, but we still can lift each other up. The Keep Wisconsin Warm Cool Fund and your local energy providers are working together to help keep your heat and power on. You may not ask for it, but we want you to know we're here. Winter is what you make of it. And with the award-winning strength and performance of Cub Cadet X-Series snowblowers, you can make the most of it. Visit your local Cub Cadet dealer where you can receive $200 off for a limited time. To find a locally owned dealer near you, visit CubCadetDealers.com. Complying with national guidelines is made easy with the CETA's commercial touchless forehead thermometer. The Instant Read LCD digital display yields an accurate body temperature reading from 2 to 4 inches within half a second. From schools, offices, shops, and all other public places, keep yourself safe and compliant with a hands-free thermometer that's easy to install and easier to use. Visit www.cetusonline.com. That is C-E-T-U-S online.com. Welcome to Toyota Thon. Hey. Ready for a great deal? You know it. With savings on Camry, RAV4, Highlander, and more, it really is the most magical time of the year. Can you pretend you didn't see this? But I'm seeing it. Right now, during Toyota Thon, you can get $1,500 customer cash on a spacious new 2021 Highlander Hybrid. Visit Toyota.com to learn more. You never know what you'll find at Toyota Thon. Come in today. Toyota, let's go places. Since 1993, Wisconsin has taken it to Indiana. The Badgers are 16-2 against the Hoosiers since then, and most of the wins weren't even close. But this IU team isn't like the IU teams of old. They can play. 
and they showed that today. Backup QB Jack Tuttle in. Didn't matter. He threw for two touchdowns the second of the day to Wap Fillier. That puts Indiana up 14-3. Now the red zone wasn't kind to Wisconsin. They couldn't score touchdowns. And then on fourth and 10 in the fourth quarter, down eight, Graham Mertz to Chimery DK. They couldn't connect. Badgers fall 14-6. It's the second straight game where the offense just didn't come to play. Eight penalties, two turnovers, and only six points. That's not going to cut it, and the Badgers know it. As an offense, we just need to click better. Um, our prep is good uh, the whole week. We just need to execute on game day and um, just being ready for whatever they throw at us. I just think uh, everyone, we need 11 guys to give everything they have every play. Um, and if one person doesn't, um, that's how drives get killed. The Badger women didn't get any favors when it comes to their Big Ten opener. Not only did Wisconsin get Iowa, but they have to travel to Iowa City, a place where they haven't won since the 2001-2002 season. Badgers trying to snap a 20-game losing streak to the Hawkeyes, and Sydney Hilliard came to play. Last week, she scored a career-high 24. Today, she was even better. Hilliard takes it hard to the rack for two of her new career-high 26, but it wasn't enough. Former Miss Wisconsin basketball McKenna Warnock banks it home. Iowa pretty much led from start to finish. Warnock finished with 12 as the Badgers lose their 21st straight game against the Hawks, 85 to 78. For the first time this season, the Badger men, they're coming off a loss. And to make matters worse, it came at the hands of their in-state rival and it was off a buzzer beater. But the good news, there are more games to play and it's earlier in the season meaning they can learn from this loss. I've had these losses every year. I've been here early on. You get a tough one, you lose. Um, you know, how can you build from it? Um, look at some of the weaknesses we had in that game and how can we move forward and start playing our best basketball? Because come March, we want to be ready to go and compete for a title. So the Badger women lose, the Badger men lose, the football team loses, the women's hockey team, their games got canceled. Man. Packers better come through tomorrow or else it's going to be a long weekend. Yeah, it's, it's been a, a rough few games for those Badger fans. Let's, let's cross our fingers for the Packers then. <laughs> All right, thank you so much, Zach. We'll be right back. Wisconsin restaurants take your health seriously. That's why so many have invested in your safety. Restaurants taking the Ready to Serve Safely pledge have committed to providing the safest environment possible to prevent the spread of COVID-19. Support restaurants committed to your safety in whatever way you feel most comfortable. Dine-in, carry-out, curbside, drive through or delivery. Check out safedoningwisconsin.com for a listing. We get it. You had more important things to do. That's why the Black Friday sale at Denver Mattress has been extended. And for a limited time, the more you buy, the more you save. Get 100 bucks off every 1000 you spend and watch the savings stack up. Or get a $300 furniture oak gift certificate when you purchase any Tempur-Pedic. Save up to $200 on Rejuvenate adjustable bases, plus seven years no interest and free shipping. But hurry, the extended Black Friday super sale at Denver Mattress ends soon. When you put money in a big bank, there it goes. But when you keep your money at Associated Bank, it gets invested close to home. It might become this family's renovation or help this little one's college fund. It could build local business or your favorite neighborhood spot. Because when you bank with Associated Bank, your money works in your community. All you have to do is make a simple choice. Send your money there or keep it here. Associated Bank. Your money works here. ready always there visit nationalguard.com to find out more seeing the joy that people feel when they share a meal with family and friends that's why we do this the laughter of kids around the table the thrill of families driving through for a treat the delight of not having to cook and instead letting us safely serve you 
It all comes back to taking care of each other. And for that, we'll be here with your favorites and always a smile. A nursing home promises to care for our parents as cherished loved ones. But if your parents have been injured in a nursing home, we can help. Habish, Habish, and Rotier. We fight for what's right. This holiday season, support our local businesses by using the Madison Magazine online shop local holiday gift guide. Find the perfect gift locally with unique clothing, discounted gift cards, home decor, books, and more. Find it on madisonmagazine.com today. Channel 3000 Plus. Watch from your streaming media player or mobile device. You're watching News 3 Now at 10. The Sun Prairie Lions Club is making sure kids still get a chance to see Santa this Christmas. You can sign up for Santa and his elves to visit your home on Friday or Saturday nights between now and Christmas. Santa will knock on the window to get your child's attention and wish them a Merry Christmas. He'll also set bags of candy by the door. You can contact the Lions Club to sign up. It's only for Sun Prairie, Bristol, Burke, and Windsor. Well, at least they get to see Santa through the window. They do. They do. <laughs> a little bit of uh, distance, but the magic is it, it still works. there. Exactly. <laughs> we are expecting a, a slight chance for flurries tonight and for tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures will be near 40 degrees for the start of the week. And then by the middle of the week, we hit a milder stretch. Highs near 50 degrees on Wednesday before a chance for some light snow late Friday night into Saturday. Could mix early in the morning on Saturday. And then a drier trend expected for the following week again. Overall, a cool stretch for us the next week. All right. Thanks so much, Dana. And thanks so much for joining us. Have a great night.